What's up guys, well, today in a really thought out, you know, video, um, after what happened in the community, um, with the whole Grammy Awards just happened, or well, as you're watching this, probably happened already, the nominees were, if you didn't know, the nominees were Mitchell Bivin, Heroes vs. Villains, Drake's, Two to One Savage, Her Loss, I nearly said Take Care, my accident, I ain't gonna lie, Killer Mike's, Michael, don't know who that is by the way, um, and also Travis Scott's Utopia, and let's not forget, legendary rapper Nas, Known for his legendary albums, but he came out with a legendary album with King's Disease 3. <clears throat> I'll give you a moment to let you think who won last year. Just, 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 just one minute. Just one minute. Okay, you done? If you get Michael, you are, you are absolutely correct. You are, you are hundred percent correct. Because who the fuck thinks about that? Who, who really thinks like sit down and think? Oh, you know what? You know what? Michael had that one. You know Michael. You know Michael was pretty boss. Probably, probably he did. He was. Maybe he was. But who was really talking about Killer Mike like that? I know he's not trash. I know he has talent. And I know he's an old head. <laughs> but why? And how? How does that make sense? Enough, enough, enough shitting on a mic. Because I'm pretty sure he's a very, very nice person. Let's not begin that he got arrested after he got no one. Yeah. <laughs> Probably got arrested by him robbing fucking Travis Scott. We can't have that now. But, nah. On a real note, on a positive note, Mike did have some good songs on there. I did listen to um that future feature. That was good. That was good. I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> I ain't gonna lie. But isn't the Grammys based on how popular or relevant the work was in its time being out? Like, to be honest, like, I didn't even realize it was an album until my friend showed me the nominations for the Grammys. And that's how you know they, they're just picking random at this point. I know what you're gonna say, but Peter, it's based on how many albums they, they sold. Um, you do realize that Travis Scott Utopia sold like 450 first week, earning him the highest selling rap album of 2023, higher than Drake's Her Loss. So, how the fuck did Mike go on? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure, uh, not album of the year because yeah we all know who that goes to album of the year goes to Taylor Swift of course he goes to Taylor Swift fat bitch um but I don't I don't care about Taylor Swift all Swifties so much oh my god to be honest I was hoping 
either Travis Scott, obviously, obviously, Daddy Travis Scott, Scotty, um, yeah, Scott, or Mitchell Boomin to win, um, Rap Album of the Year, mm, this year, but, anyways, moving, moving forward, with our next topic, um, Stream. Let's hop into the streaming world with Aiden Ross, the streamer that everyone loves, the guy that says sauce words like it's a it's a cup of water that he drinks every day. Aiden Ross is a nice guy. I I don't think anyone actually has a problem with him. He seems genuine. He seems such a fucking I love, I love him. I love his personality. Um and yo Aiden, can I can I hop in the stream with you if you want you this? Most likely not. But you know, you know and you know, shoot my shot right there. Hey, no homo, no homo. But I would like to come in the stream, you know, entertain, entertain viewers like you do. Um, but anyways, yeah, he's been lately having like bad luck with Twenty One Savage, um, with like him scamming him. But I think this isn't the rapper's doing. But we, oh, uh, as we know of. It was confirmed later on that 21 wasn't the guy that scammed him in that playing, playing cards game. But other than that, um, yeah, they told it off. And, yeah, but this, we're not here to talk about 21 Savage. We're talking about the man, the myth, the legend. The rarest of them all. He's rare than a shiny Pokemon. He, he wouldn't even turn up to his um kid's birth. He would rather play a little Uzi. Oh, no, 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 no. He would rather play Fortnite with a little Uzi on the PlayStation 5. OPM himself. Playboy Carney was given two million to appear and talk about anything, music, or just chill with Aiden Ross. But you know what this man didn't stand? You know what this man didn't stand? He stood there, nodded his hand like five times, and said, Oh, I love you. I like you, I like you, and uh, music on the way, and um, I love you, and I will see you again, and then leaves, leaves of the six minutes, six minutes of two million dollars out of the fucking window, are you crazy, are you crazy, are you fucking crazy, are you fucking crazy, um, yeah, and I feel like Aiden doesn't deserve that, Aiden is a nice guy, like I said before, like, that guy would actually do so much, but it's later confirmed that, um, Aiden Ross did not actually pay Playboy Carney the whole set of two million dollars. And that he'll be talking to him and manager. But man, this isn't good to be honest. Because the fans are going to definitely look at Cardi in a whole different way. If you don't know, people look at how you treat Anna Ross the same way as how you treat normal. Normal is a, is a different type of guy, and 
novel is a guy that interviews big artists. I spy Draco. You probably seen him say do 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 do. If you know, you know. Um. So for him to treat Aiden like this will have a huge impact on his career. He's either gonna do another stream or have to do another stream with um with Aiden or or make up a Cardi lie that Cardi is known for, you know. Uh, I will, I will, I will, I will, um, drop another album, um, maybe, maybe next Monday, you know the drop, uh, um, I love you, and I, and I, and I, I'm, uh, and, and, I'm gonna drop a new song on, on Friday, you know the drop, yeah, the man, this man doesn't, doesn't really make, never makes a valid, Valid lie Emma, Emma in his whole fucking career, but he has a big ass fan base and just sucks them off like little Nazix. Um, but let's 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 have a talk in the comments. What well, what do you guys think? Do you really think that? Playboy Carney did a real, uh, really fucked up thing, or, or Anna Ross didn't plan it out, probably. And with the Grammys situation, did you think Travis Scott was wrong? I, I think so. I feel like my dad deserves a Grammy. After hearing Utopia. I mean, come on. It was Utopia. You really hate to go Utopia right now? But, yeah. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed making this video. And, yeah. Peace. Take care. And love you. Hope, hope you guys have a good day. And don't lie. And make sure you kiss your mom in the mouth. Mwah.